Hello friends, this video on introduction to Euclid Geometry Part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's take some numerical now. Let's consider the following statement. There exists a pair of straight lines that are everywhere equidistant from one another. Is this statement the direct consequence of fifth postulate? Yes. Let's say there exists a pair of straight lines. There exists a pair of straight lines that are everywhere equidistant from one another. That means if this distance is the same, this distance is the same. If these are parallel, that means then they are always equidistant. The question is, this is the statement. If, if L is parallel to M, then let's put this one A, B and C. Then A, B is equal to C. This is what's the meaning. Okay. So we have to say that is this a direct consequence or uh, of fifth postulate. So fifth postulate, let's see once again. So let's see as per uh, Playfair axiom, that is nothing but part of the uh, format of Euclid's fifth postulate. So if, if there is a line L and there is a point P and uh, this point P is not on the line, then by Playfair axiom, there is a unique line M that passed through P, which is parallel to L. So there is a unique line M that is parallel to L and passed through P. So these two lines are everywhere equidistant from one another. Right? Because they are parallel, so they are equidistant. Okay, so that means, yeah, this statement is actually a direct consequence of fifth postulate. Statement says that there exists a pair of lines that are equidistant from one another. That means there exists a, there exists a parallel line. It says there exists a straight line, pair of straight line. They are not saying parallel line. They are just saying that there exists a pair of straight line where the distance between these points are same. That means they are saying that there exists a set of parallel lines and it is a direct consequence of Euclid's fifth postulate right because as per the mayor playfair axiom this distance if it's a point p you can draw a line parallel to l passing through p and you can have only one line okay how would you rewrite Euclid's fifth postulate so that it will be easier to understand easier easiest way i can say that Two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. We have seen this line again. Two distinct intersecting lines can't be parallel to the same line. That means if there are two lines, L and M, if L is parallel to L dash, L dash, then I can say that M will not be parallel to L dash if they are intersecting. Okay. Let's take one last example. Does the Euclid's fifth postulate imply the existence of parallel lines? Yes, actually, if you see the Euclid's fifth postulate, there are two lines, and there's another line. Angle 1 and angle 2, angle 1 plus angle 2 is less than 180 degree, it will meet. Right? But if angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree, it will not meet. So it will not meet, that means they are parallel. Correct? So thus the parallel line is actually, I mean, Euclid's fifth postulate imply the existence of parallel lines. Okay? Let's do a quick summary. Uh, Though Euclid's defined a point line plane, their definitions were not accepted by the mathematicians and they are considered indefined because they use some term which were not defined to define these definitions. Axioms are postulates, they are assumptions, they are obvious universal truth, they are not proved. Axioms are generic and postulates are more uh, specific to geometry. Theorems are statements which are proved and they are proved using definition axioms previously theorems and also deductive reasoning. Two equivalent, equivalent version of Euclid's fifth postulate we have seen. First was for every line L and for every point P there is not a line in L. There exists a unique line L. There exists a unique line M which is passing through point P and parallel to L. There is a play here of 
fast lane and the easier one was if there are two distinct intersecting lines they cannot be parallel to a single line so let me repeat once again there are two distinct intersecting lines they cannot be parallel to the same line so if there is L this is M intersecting L can be parallel to L dash M will not be parallel to L dash okay and for this for every line L there exists a point P which is not lying on L and there exists a unique line L which is passing through this point P and thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot